When you set J equals one and K equals one in the definition of joint moments, you get what we call correlation. The expected value of the product of X1 and X2. We call this the correlation between X1 and X2. Um, we say that it's the measure of how much X1 and X2 resemble each other. Well, this is maybe not straightforward to understand uh, immediately because, well, here we are not talking really about specific outcomes, but the distribution in general. And we'll talk about this again when we talk about random processes as opposed to random variables or vectors. And it will make more sense uh, when we talk about random processes when when we um, when we make things time dependent so it, it will it will much it will be much useful to talk about correlations then but for the time being um, in the general sense this signifies correlation signifies how much the distributions x1 and x2 resemble each other so when we talk about distributions what does what does that mat, uh, mean here you see uh, three uh, extreme cases uh, with respect to correlation. I produced these with these MATLAB commands here at the bottom. Um, here, Norm Rand uh, produces Gaussian distributed random uh, outcomes with this mean and this standard deviation. And this is the size of the uh, outcome. And I, I, you see, I produced X1 and X2, two random vectors of size 50 with the same distribution but since i i um, produced them using different commands at the time they are in fact independent and then i define y1 and y2 in terms of x1 and x2 um sort of their uh, uh, transformations and i add uh, sort of a uh, noise uh, parameter let's say and you see it's standard deviation is small so it, it's, it's it doesn't give a large variation and in the first case i just use x1 in both of them where i here have um, a different coefficient instead of one and i add uh, two distinct and independent noise uh, figures let's say and this is the result i get the first figure. This is high correlation because y1 and y2 are based on the same random variable x1 uh, and also a noise component is added so they, they are not exactly the same or they are not really uh, 1.2 times the other uh, but you see they uh, uh, resemble each other because they, they, uh, they are close to the same distribution let's say. And you see, if, if you apply a linear regression to the, the data points, uh, you sort of have this close to linear relationship. And at the other extreme, if instead of 1.2, I use minus one over two, you see when one of them, let's say Y increases, Y2 would be decreasing. And if Y1 decreases, Y2 would be increasing. So there is a negative relationship between them so you see that here like this okay so here we have high correlation at both ends that means uh, these two distributions they uh, they are close to each other they resemble each other uh, very much and correlation is sort of a measure of this resemblance and what do we have in the middle here you see y1 is defined through x1 but y2 is defined through x2. If you remember, x1 and x2 was uh, were independent. So what we have here is something like this. We see no correlation here. You can't really uh, find the relation between them. You can't really uh, say, okay, y1 behaves like this when y2 does this, etc. So it seems like on the overall uh, space, you have all sorts of possible outcomes. So we say they have no correlation in this case. Of course, these are qualitative um, examples here. We are not talking about absolute numbers, but uh, this is uh, the, gen the general picture. This is what, what we um, uh, assign meaning to correlation. But you see, 
This is the definition of correlation. And by this definition, correlation is affected by the mean of the distribution. How so? For instance, here I have chosen X1 and X2 to be zero mean, both of them. So if let's say I, I have chosen uh, X2 to, be, uh, to have a mean of three, then my values would be, okay, um, in, in, in Y1 axis, um, well, I'm using X1 and X2 uh, separately only in, uh, in this scenario. So let's say, um, well, yeah, if, if, if you select the mean of X1, let's say again, S3 instead of zero, uh, you see the scatter is around zero and zero here, uh, Y1 and Y2. Uh, also have uh, zero mean, but if you select X1 to have a mean of three, then this scatter would be around uh, this region, let's say, something like this, okay? And since correlation is by definition the, the, the mean of the products, so I would have naturally larger values here, right? Larger values here. Therefore, the correlation here, even if, the only difference is a shifted mean, the correlation between uh, these two and these two would differ quite a lot due to the absolute values of the, the, the values. Uh, therefore, the larger the expected values, the more likely uh, each of the random variable have uh, larger outcomes and correlation therefore will be larger. For instance, here I do the same with um, here I use a mean of zero, here I use a mean of five. You see, I have one point, almost three uh, correlation in the first case and here it's 28. So there's a, quite a difference between them. So what does this mean? That means it is difficult to compare different pairs of random variables only with respect to correlation because means affect the result. Correlation by itself uh, is a measure of uh, similarity why? Because you see, uh, if they are similar, they would uh, they would have similar res uh, outcomes. Not like this, scattered all over, but concentrated uh, on near a line. So you would have uh, one of them large, the other is also large. One of them positive, the other is also positive. One of them negative, the other is also negative. One of them small, the other also small. So when you multiply them. Uh, positive with positive, negative with negative, you get positive numbers. And when one of them is large, the other is also large, you get you get large uh, uh, products. So when you add them up or you take the average, you take you, you get a large value. But um, if, if there is no correlation or very little correlation, then you would have pairs of positive negatives, uh, larges and smalls. So when you multiply them and take the average, the result will not be not, uh, that big. So that's how correlation works. But you see, uh, this is important. The, the mean itself, as it affects where the distribution is focused on, uh, it also affects the value of the correlation. 